question um, in terms of supervision, and it was RBT supervision stuff, um, you know, kind of an expansion on what the BACB posts on their website. Um, so we, we've put a little section in our, in our um, drive, but I think we need to add a bit more to it. Let me share my screen again. So let's go to this. So in terms of the different categories here, uh, go into helpful resources and then supervision. I put in here RBT supervision resources. And there's some links down here. Um, I'll make this prettier. I just did this um, right before our Q&A, but um, I put some links in here to certain contracts, et cetera. I think the biggest thing here is that if you are supervising an RBT, like if they're within your company and you know, it's part of the requirement for the job, they've already signed a contract with their employer and you've probably signed a contract with the employer too stating that the RBT supervision is happening, et cetera. Um, so that's all fine. But if you're doing this because, um, I don't know, you're a BCBA and they're an RBT and you're not directly related or working together, um, but it's kind of, I don't know how it works in the States because I know that RBTs aren't supposed to be independent contractors. But if there isn't some type of contract there, make sure you put one in place. And here's some links to be able to do that. Um, the other thing would be just looking at the RBT's responsibilities and, you know, how much supervision, et cetera, they need. Um, they should be, a, you know, they should be encouraged to keep track of their hours. So either on Excel spreadsheet, there's some uh, um, apps that you can use as well. And the BACB recommends something. We have something too, I can add it to the drive. Um, but that's the biggest piece is really about keeping track of their hours in case they're ever audited. I find that so hard to do. I have to say that with the RBT supervision, um, uh, I just can't keep, tra it's very hard to keep track of it. I, I tell them that it's really their responsibility to keep track of it in terms of using the Excel document and stuff. But there is a certain element that I have to do because they need some in-person supervision and I need to be making sure that they're getting that enough. Um, it's a huge responsibility. So I don't know, I feel like that with all this, between supervision, you know, BCBA supervision and RBT supervision, there's so much negative reinforcement involved in like not wanting to hire someone who needs supervision that I don't know what they're thinking, but it's, it's definitely like a challenge and I struggle with that. So I have the opposite experience, Shira. I actually enforce with all my staff that they need to have their RBT. Um, no, I'm sorry, I shouldn't say enforce. I encourage um, with pay raises, et cetera. So if they get their RBT, then you know, they get a pay raise or they also get their exam reimbursed, et cetera. Um, but we have a few BCBAs within our organization and just part of their job is to supervise them. So every RBT in our company, you know, works between 20 and 40 hours a week. I think they can only be supervised for 30 hours a week anyway. So, you know, most of them, if they're working full time for me, you know, every week they're putting down that they're working 30 hours a week in an RBT role. Um, we have a BCBA supervisor right on staff and, you know, it's one huge classroom. So the RBT, super, sorry, the BCBA is usually always in the room. And um, the other thing is that the BCBA is, there jumps into programs, etc. So really all our RBTs need to do is just jot down when the BCBA jumps in to look at one of their kiddos that they're teaching one to one. And it's typically, you know, bang on with the hours. So um, because there's a BCBA in the room most of the time, it's they're, they're getting their hours. It's kind of a piece of cake. So yeah, that's the best solution. It's just having one of the other BCBAs do it. Um, yeah. I love it. Your solution is just get someone else to do it. If someone else can take care of the paperwork, <laughs> I'm more than happy to delegate. Oh, hilarious. Anyway.